Hi, Nick at Clean PC, and today we're going to be doing a Linux distribution review for Bunsen Labs Linux and their release Helium. Bunsen Labs is based on Debian Stable, and per their website, it's currently based on Debian 9. Bunsen Labs is also a continuation of a previous distribution called Crunchbang Linux. Currently, it's ranked number 92 out of 100 on DistroWatch, and they classify it for desktop usage. So, I want to talk a little bit about the installer. They had a very nice, simple graphical installer. It took about 20 minutes for the full install. And once I first booted into the desktop, I uh, was prompted with a terminal window and went through a few options for configuration. Currently running this on Proxmox with 4 CPU and 6 gigs of RAM. So as we're booted into the desktop here, you'll notice we've got Conky running on the right hand side where it gives us our system information and some shortcut keys. One thing to note, on boot, the RAM usage is under 200 megabytes, which is fantastic. So we've got six gigs available to us. We're only using 183 megs of memory, which is really cool. So just something to note, really light on resource usage, which is great. Uh, one of the things I did note, though, obviously we're booted in. We're running this as a VM. The resolution is only 1024 by 768. So I wanted to walk through the process of what changing that would look like. So with Bunsen Labs, we've got some options up here for web browser, our file manager, our text editor, terminal, our two desktops, one and two. We've got our options over here, power. And then we've got our right click for our menu. We can run a program. We've got some options here. And then we've got everything broken down. Accessories, graphics, multimedia, network, office, places, recent files, preferences. We're going to go to display. We're going to choose the screen layout editor. Now as you can see here, if we look at outputs, we go to virtual one and we go to resolution. We can see we're set at 1024 by 768. So we're going to change that to 1920 by 1080. Now we need to hit this little green check to apply. Once we do that, you can see the background's been tiled. So now if we right click, go back to preferences, and we go to wallpaper, we're going to select this wallpaper and hit apply. And now you can see we've got this wallpaper. The one thing you'll notice is Conky is still where it was before, so we've got to change that. So if we right click, Go to Preferences, Conky, and then we simply choose to reload. It's going to tell you we've got to kill the running process first. And now it moves it over to the right corner where it was before. So now we've got 1920 by 1080. Conky is where it's supposed to be. I uh, thought this was a really cool wallpaper to use, Bunsen Labs, and then Crunch Bang Reborn. So kind of nice there. So now we're operating at full resolution here, and we'll go through the rest of this distribution review. So again, if we right click, we can see what our options are. We'll choose terminal. And one of the things I like to do is run NeoFetch so we can see the particulars. So again, Bunsen Labs Helium Release, kernel 4.9. Our resolution is now set properly. Desktop environment is XFCE. The window manager is open box. And we can see even now we're only running at 241 megs out of the 6 gigs of RAM available to us. So pretty cool. We can go and we can take a look at our web browser here, which is Firefox by default. And we'll go ahead and give DistroWatch a click. And again, you can see it's ranked number 92. And we'll also give the Bunsen Labs website a click here. Here it is, Release Helium. They've got some screenshots. Some more information about the architecture. Community support. Definitely click on the donations page. Right, so if you use this and you think it's a nice distribution, definitely go here and donate. Got a couple different options for referrals. 
So highly recommend doing that if you use the distribution and you like it. Also got a link to their forums from their website. So again, if you're new to it and you want to use Bunsen Labs, register for an account. You can get some help here. And as you become a seasoned user, you know, give back to the community and help other people who are just starting. So again, if we right click, we can see in accessories, even though we've got Conkey running, we can run HTOP. And you'll notice really nice uh, the way everything has been themed, right? So really like the terminal and the colors they've chose fits really nice with the distribution. Multimedia, um, they included VLC and XF burn. So really nice to see these. Office, um, they installed LibreOffice Writer and GNumeric. And you can see everything opens relatively quickly. Really responsive distribution. So we're going to go and one of the things they included was Genie, which I'm a huge fan of. So if we right click, we can choose to open with Genie. Now you'll notice the color scheme. So we can change that to one a little bit more in line with the release. We can keep it here. There's an alternate one. And there's also this default. I like this one a lot. So if we click on documents and we look at the CSS, you can see the color scheme is really nice. We can also look at JavaScript. And if we go back and we look at the CSS file, you can see it shows all the classes. With HTML, it shows the headings. So really nice program. And I love the way it's themed here. Really cool. And again, if we go to the file system root, we can go into Etsy. We can go into cron.d. We can open this with the text editor. You can see it opens nice and quick. Again, in preferences, we've got open box, conky. We can change the appearance. Take another look at the wallpapers. All right, so they got a lot of different options in here. Really cool. I kind of like this wallpaper, so I'm going to keep it, but just showing you the different options available to you. Under system, you've got your printers. Um, Synaptic Package Manager, you do have to authenticate. And now if you wanted to and you are comfortable installing packages from the GUI, you can search for something and install it, or you can obviously use the terminal as well. Again, you could go into Gparted, edit your partition. We, we could lock the screen. We could exit. So, and again, current RAM usage, 255 megs. Super low on RAM usage, which is awesome. Processor really hasn't been getting maxed out doing any of this stuff. So just really pleased with Bunsen Labs Linux and uh, how it performs and responds. Um, visually, nice job with the theme. Definitely impressed. So give those guys uh, a view on their website. If you like it, donate to them. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. And if you did, please like and subscribe.